When you first arrive Singapore Park, you will see a giant golden lion statue at the entrance of the park. This is a very popular selfie spot for tourists who visit. The park is located in Mekong countryside, 12 kilometers north of Chiang Rai city. The park features flower gardens, lakes, meadows, plantations, orchids, the zoo, and vegetable crops. If you feel like a peaceful day, out away from traffic and noise, Singapore Park is a place to visit. Singapore Park, Chiang Rai, consists of 12 square kilometers of tea fields, lakes, fruit trees and flower beds. There is a central viewpoint for the tea fields. There is a hop on, hop off tram that departs from the front gate each 30 minutes. This is very popular, so you need to book a place on arrival and return at the allocated time. If the tram is booked out or you prefer the exercise, there are also rental bicycles as well as electrical golf cars available. Many of the roads and paths at Singapore Park are reserved for trams, electrical golf cars and bicycles. So there are only two ways to get full access to the park. The Agro Tourism Park works closely with schools and colleges in Thailand. College students come here to learn and make up a large percentage of visitors during the week. The weekends are popular with Thai families and cyclists who come to enjoy the scenery. The whole park is enormous, consisting of different zones to explore, all which you can enjoy within the harmony of nature. Its gardens are well maintained with blossoming flowers and vast green landscapes. There are plenty of quiet places to relax and enjoy the fresh air in peace. Free entrance, the ideal way to explore it is with your scooter, bicycle or rented electrical car as we did. For the activities inside you'll have to pay, but it's also really nice to just explore it, enjoy the sunset. There is a 7-Eleven not far away. Formerly known as Boone Road Farm, the Singer Park was once a family run farm owned by Boone Road Brewery. The founding family produces Singa beer, a famous beer from Thailand. The land on Singa Park was where the family once grew barley to pre produce their beer. The family decided to transform the farmlands into a sustainable ag agricultural tourism park. Singa Park opened to the public in December 2012. There are many places to see and enjoy at Singa Park walk around the gardens and lay landscapes along the pathways provided, or take a picnic and stroll around the lawns. If you would like to explore more, there are bicycles for hire where you can follow the many bike trails. Along the cycle path, there are information maps. The maps also inform you the length of the ride and the level of difficulty of each route, as some are a little hilly. By taking the electric tram, you can relax and enjoy the scenery without much effort. The tram stops at different spots, giving you time to explore and walk around in nature at your own pace. Trams run every half hour around the park where you can hop on or off.
musst du riechen, wir riechen sehr gut. Nee. Nee. Überhaupt nicht. The zip line is another way to get an interesting look at Singa Park. You can purchase a ticket for a single ride without delaying your itinerary or hunting your budget. Ubiram restaurant is co-located with the main viewpoint. This is a great option if you are passing by at lunchtime. Barnhouse Pizza is another option within the park. Your guide can recommend you other options outside if you prefer simple local food.
The word Shinga refers to the mythological golden lion which can be seen on the front of bottles or cans of the brew. In the Thai language, the word for this creature is pronounced Sing without the Ha at the end. Mm -hmm.